a 21 megapixel camera, front firing Harman Kardon speakers, a removable 3100 milliamp hour battery, and a whopping 320 gigabytes of storage. And that's not even scratching the water resistant surface. I'm Michael Fisher with Pocket Now, and this is a quick look at the spec beast of CES, the Segus V Squared. Specs aren't everything, but don't tell Segus. They've taken the OnePlus approach to smartphone design, packing in every possible hardware feature to make the smartphone stand out. In some cases, that's thanks to novel implementations of existing features. Segus achieved that 320 gig capacity with tandem micro SD cards combined with an onboard 64 gig reservoir. Its fingerprint scanner sits on the right edge instead of up front as usual. The radios use a fractal antenna array for increased reception. And the screen backlight is automatically adjusted by not one, but two ambient light sensors, front and back. Elsewhere, things get a little more conventional, but no less impressive. Gorilla Glass 4 cover glass, an IR transmitter, Qi wireless charging, a 21 megapixel camera with sharp sensor on the back, and a 13 megapixel selfie camera up front. And get this, both cameras are optically stabilized. The phone does have compromises. The five inch display is full HD, not quad HD. I don't mind that, actually. It's probably a better call in terms of battery life. But the phone's chunky industrial design won't be for everyone. This early hardware doesn't feel too rugged in the hand, maybe because it's so lightweight. Also, some of the more extravagant claims concerning the abilities of the fractal antenna technology seem, well, extravagant. Android 5 isn't here yet, as you can see, but it, along with out-of-the-box root access, are promised shortly after release. Anytime a new, small manufacturer promises such an ambitious product, it's a good idea to temper your expectations a bit. Still, with a spec sheet this dense, and some features I wasn't even able to mention, if this phone comes to market on time this spring, it's bound to be very compelling to a specific market segment. Based on what we've heard behind the scenes, the V-squared might ship for $500 unlocked, with possible carrier deals to be announced in the coming months. For much more in smartphones, tablets, and wearables from CES 2015 in Las Vegas, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media at the links in the description below. For Jaime Rivera, Hayato Husman, and all of Pocket Now, I'm Michael Fisher. We'll see you next time. <laughs>